Wow, <laughs> so much has happened. As you guys know, I've been training super hard for the upcoming race in Moscow. You got this. Yes, nice. Now we all know that right now we're dealing with a pretty rough pandemic. So the decision was for safety precaution, canceling the season, solidifying results was the best way to go. Now it's a beautiful day. I'm gonna head outside and I'll catch you guys up just a little bit more. So what does that mean for the athletes? Season is over. Moscow was our final race and due to it being canceled, that means that all the points were finalized and the world champions were now named. There was a lot of adversity this season, seriously. It started with the cancellation of a 1,000 point race, which was gonna be in Kazakhstan. Um, and that kind of changed up the whole system, the whole point system. Then we had to deal with some warm, some warm temperatures in other areas of the world because the season is ending. Um, I just kind of want to do a recap. And you know, let's start in Montalac. I was coming in nervous because I had so much off-season training and I didn't know how everyone else was training. And I was just hoping that everything that I've put in the gym and in the skate parks would pay off. And it did came out super strong with my first win of the season. I was super pumped. Andrew Worley gets second place today. Nice job. There you go, Joe. Then because of the cancellation in Kazakhstan, because of the point system, I was told that I had to rush my way to Ratalampi, Finland, where I had to solidify some points if I wanted to defend my title as the junior world champion. So I went online, I bought some tickets, and I was off to Finland. Where I didn't perform that well, I ended up getting second. And uh, it was a good one, it was a good experience. And that was my first loss since my world championship last year. So I was motivated, I was ready. I, I needed to redeem myself and that was gonna be in Japan. Going in, I was super confident. I knew that it was a technical course. I knew that I was good on technical courses. And I performed so well. In time trials, I reached one of my goals, which was getting top 10 in the men's division. And I did, I got eighth place. That was my time trial. So confident going into my race. Ran into some technical difficulties at the top of the start gate. Up at the top, I guess um, that there was a mandatory, a mandatory curfew for sound pollution. Uh, because it was Friday night and the main event was Saturday, they had to cut off all the sound at the top of the start gate, which was super interesting because we were standing up there and it was pretty quiet. And then out of nowhere, we heard riders ready. So we were at the start gate and I was like, what the heck is going on? I looked over at Levy and before we knew it, the whistle was already blown and we were off on the course. Here we go, oh, Jojo almost falls down coming out of the gate and leaves it wide open for Arthur Richelieu Shadour. So I had a terrible start, which I was super bummed about, but I knew I could catch up. I knew this was my course. As I was skating down the track, I got to a tight turn where things were getting a bit close. And as I was coming around the turn with crazy speed, I ran into the guy and I had put my hand on him and he slipped out which caused him to fall. And because my hand was on him, I got disqualified, putting me in fourth place. Oh man, was it stressful because I knew that I needed to solidify that win. I'm positive it's that one corner where he put his hands on his back and uh, whether or not the push was there is the big question. I took it as a learning experience. And I also knew that I had Moscow. Anyways. My next race was in Canada, and I also needed to solidify one more 500 point race, which I did. I got an awesome win on a track that I didn't think I would perform that well on. Insanely crazy season. And this is only my third year of competing, and let me tell you, this has been the craziest one yet. Overall though, guys, I'm so happy and pumped. 
about how I performed. I'm a completely different athlete than I was last season, and I'm ready to work my butt off and kill it next year. So my plans for the off season, and if you guys wanna follow me just a little bit closer, you can check me out on Instagram or go to my personal YouTube channel. I'm just gonna be living here at Camp Woodward, doing my thing like I do every summer. Jumping on trampolines, skating, having a great time. Um, it's pretty great, so check it out. And like I said, I had so much freaking fun doing this. It was a blast, and I'll be seeing you guys soon.